yeah, that's what's up. So, I wanted to show you a little project I was working on. Uh, it's a 32-bit uh, upgrade for a uh, printer here. This actual printer right now that I'm printing out right now. So I'm still running the original ANET board. I mean, this is heavily modified. This, that's my original Craigslist printer. I bought for 40 bucks. But uh, okay, so let me show you what I got here. So I got the new SKR uh, 1.1 board. Pretty cheap, 25 bucks on Amazon. Put a link. That's actually my other. That's not it right there. So here we go. That's not it either. Sorry. <laughs> this is the right box. So this should be the SKR. Uh, 1.1. It's a 32-bit board. It's actually pretty new. I, I think it's only been out for a couple months. Because I just saw. I've been actually looking for a 32-bit board for about a year now. Well, since I got into this, this printing here. So I can open this up real quick for you guys. Oh, it's actually a tiny board. That. Yeah, so there it is. So one of the things I was actually looking for is I wanted a board with external drivers. And I was actually looking at the MKS uh, 1.3, but it actually had the, 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 the drivers built on the motherboard. And I didn't want that, so I wanted something, because I'm actually going to be putting Trinamic drivers on here, so I wanted something that was removable, in case I had to repair it, or also, you know, if I ever want to upgrade in the future. But uh, pretty awesome little board, it's tiny, way, way thought than, than I thought it would be. But the, the key here is the 32-bit uh, ARM processor. And, uh, yeah, so this would actually be either running a SmoothieWare or uh, Marlin 2.0. Uh, I'm probably going to do Marlin 2.0 just because I'm more familiar with Marlin. But, uh, pretty cool. 25 bucks. Crazy. So let me show you what else I got here. I'll put that back in the box. Alright, guys. Sorry, I got, the, I got the boards mixed up in the last video. This is the actual ARM processor one. The one I just showed you was the actual, the, uh, the, okay, it came out of the choppers. Okay, so that's the ARM processor, where it says uh, NX on it right there. And that's the uh, Atmel. That's the 8-bit version, this is a 32-bit version. All right, cool. And at the same time, I got the, uh, This thing right here. This is the uh, TFT uh, color touch screen. I guess it's version 4 now, that's what it says on the thing. It's the uh, color touch screen and it has a micro SD card. Not micro, this is a regular full size SD card, it looks like. USB port in the front of it. And I think there's a couple different ways you can connect this thing. Either, either over serial or I gave, gave you the single cable. But I thought I was reading. I haven't really started messing with this in depth yet. But on these boards, you can either connect it here or here for, for the different kinds of LCDs. But this actually, this this LCD is actually really a computer within itself. It has its own ARM processor. So really, this is actually like a little mini computer within itself. But uh, all right, let me go back and I'll show you some of the other stuff I got too. What's up, Ricky? Get this rolled up. So, actually, I have. Uh, I also have another one of these. Uh, I, have a, I have an 8 bit uh, Gen L board coming in, too. It's the um, MKS uh, Gen L, and it's an 8 bit board. It looks almost exactly the same at all. Do their video comparing them. But uh, let me show you the. Uh, I think these are, these are the Trinamic drivers, the 22, TMC 2208 drivers. That I'll be using here, and this should come with heat sinks. All right, there we go. Twenty-two eight. What's funny is that they just look so much smaller in person than they do in the pictures. So that's the Trinamic drivers, the uh, one on two fifty-six micro stepping. So these things should be shoot. So should be uh, super quiet. I hope they include a quick quality too. Hold on, a second. I'm hungry. All right, so. Yeah, the TMC drivers here. So this is just going to be an introduction video to what I'm doing here in this project. I still got to figure all this stuff out. So those would actually go on here. Actually, I'm not going to use them 5, I'm going to be using 4. 
But this thing is pretty cool. At least it allows you to use uh, dual extruders. If you want to use dual extruders. But yeah, I'm just kind of. It's a tiny board. Way thought, smaller than I thought it'd be. But I also, like I said, I had the Gen L coming in, and the Gen L I'm going to put into my uh, my old printer bot. I also want to put Trinamic drivers in that thing too as well. So that's why I ordered two sets of Trinamic drivers. So my other board should come in tomorrow. I'll do comparison side by side comparisons. So you can see the differences in the board. But the layouts are exactly the same. I've already printed out some stuff already. So this is actually was printed out for. The, there was a lot more stuff for the Gen L. You know, if you're so if you're looking for a case, the footprint is exactly the same. So you can actually use the Gen L stuff. So uh, I'm guessing it's like that. Okay. All right, you get the idea. Double MOSFETs here. Is it a part, Dad? Yeah, it's a part. All right, and the last thing I want to do is upgrade the. Uh, since I'm actually running LCDs now, not LCDs, I mean uh, LEDs on this uh, printer. I got LEDs, and I'm also powering a uh, a uh, Raspberry Pi uh, three. I decided to actually put a 40 amp power supply in there. So I recently I just upgraded to a 30, but I'm having some weird print issues, and I don't know if it's related to power consumption or not. I feel like every time the heat bed comes, see these lines like that? See they're kind of like layered? Like, I'm thinking, is it shifting? But the thing is, it's really consistent, the lines and layers. So I don't know if it's like the heated bed going on and off and messing with the actual uh, bed temperature or the, I mean the extruder temperature. There's a couple different areas of there, you know. But it's it's really consistent, the pattern, and that's what I'm trying to, I don't know if it's a power supply issue or not, so. Decided to upgrade the power supply, and I did actually buy a little heat sink. This is for a Raspberry Pi 3, and I know that nobody actually does this in the pictures, but I was thinking I might try to put like a little heat sink on this ARM processor. I don't know if that's even necessary, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, extra cooling because the case that I'm printing out, this is going to be down here. Obviously with the MOSFETs, and then, you know, the Trinamic drivers need good cooling. So, hold on one second, Draggy. Yeah, I'm going to go to the final. Okay. So then the uh, fan here, I have a 120 millimeter fan that's going to be going on top of here. That's going to be cooling the, the Trinamic drivers off. And the, uh, you know, maybe the processor, but, and the MOSFETs. So, alright guys, that's just the introduction to this thing. I'll be uh, putting this together, wiring it up, testing it. Loading Marlin on there, uh, you know, getting this going. Oh yeah, this is also like the little, I've already printed out the little thing for that little board here, you know, and it goes like that, you know, that will bounce to the front of my the, uh, printer, but uh, alright, cool, seems like a fun project, and uh, we'll get it going.